What's going on guys? So a lot of you guys have been asking me how I got 20 inch rims on the front, or sorry, 20 inch tires on the front with a 9 inch rim and how I got 23 inch tall tires with a 12 inch rim on this. So this is a, uh, originally had a 9 inch rim and that's what we're going to talk about right here. So let me take these off and I can show you. All right, so we just got, I just got both the wheels off, and uh, if you notice in my last clip, this was a bit loose, and that was on purpose. I had to put, I put some washers in there, gave it that bit of more clearance, and then a bit more clearance for here. Not that I need it, considering I have like three inches stacked up in washers and stuff for a body lift, but, so if I do that, I think if I put a few washers on the pulley right there, I could lift it down, and, uh, that much isn't gonna affect the belt, I don't think, hopefully. If it does, like I said, just put a washer in there or something. So, not a big deal. And uh, over here is where we have this. So this is a nine inch uh, rim from original tires. Not the ones on here, but they're original from, you know, <laughs> what will be on it. And uh, I, went, I went over this in one of my videos. But if you see one of the, you see the lips right here? It comes down and it looks right here. I think we cut, I cut it right here and uh, cut all the way around it so it was flush with uh, where it came up on there right here. So then had it welded on right here. So it's four in total because it was not, it doesn't need to be welded all the way around, but it's four patches and um, welded it on this side. It came out pretty nice. And then over here, you can just see it's where it heated up or whatever so can't like tell from the side and uh there's still three inches in the center so i can put my hand in here to put the e-clip on on the axle um so these rooms used to be like a gray which i think they're chipping yeah so you can kind of see they used to be a gray they're chipping but uh i'll repaint them sometimes it's not a big deal it's a mud mower then the inner rims, uh, they're black. I, I spray painted them black. They were white or like it's grayish. So, um, yeah, that's how you do it. These are 23 by 12, uh, 10 by, uh, so they're 23 uh, by 10 and a half on a 12 inch rim on a 9 inch rim. <laughs> so, they look really nice. I just, I got them not too long ago, but I don't think they have much air in them. I think they got like 5 PSI maybe, and the fronts have like 10, if that. So, that's how I did that. So um, now, there's actually a leak in this. It's, I mean, a crack. I think it's on that side, but if we come over here, this is where it's been sitting. And, uh, it has a crack up on, underneath it, which is not good. I don't know where. Let me, I'll probably point out to it if I find it in the video. I know where, but I don't know which side that's missing. So it's somewhere up there. I'll circle it when I go to edit. But, um, so I, that's how I got the tires on. Now, to make them work stock, you can just, it will air them down and then it won't rub. But if you put weight on it or you know, or on a hill or something side, it will scrub a bit. So what I ended up doing was putting these, to, uh, I don't know how many there is, there's a lot. But a whole bunch of washers, and then a, two of these, which I don't know what they are, I just had them. Two of these, and then a longer bolt, and it goes right down into the pre-existing hole. Same thing on this side, nothing changed. So just spacers, I mean washers. And then down here, like I just said, I'm gonna try these out, get a little bit extra, not that it needs it. And then the front, if you haven't seen how I did the lift, it's pretty simple actually, just flat iron, two, two holes here, there needs to be another hole here, but there's one hole here on the bottom, and then you can, it's adjustable, so I can make it an eight inch in total. Right now it's sitting at a six inch, I'm pretty sure. And uh, obviously I can make it four or just take it off and put, you know, it's adjustable, but right now, whatever it's at, I think it's a six. It looks really good, and uh, with a six inch, I can use stock steering 
even though it doesn't turn all the way to the one side, it's good enough. So um, if I wanted to put in the eight inch, I'd have to cut this, weld the bar, a longer bar, and then weld it, uh, this back on. So like, so like right here, I'd cut right here. Uh, no, right here. Cut right here. Cut right here. Or somewhere, and then just weld it longer. And then I could put the uh, whatever you want to call it, eight inch lift back in. But um, yeah, it's pretty nice. This is is bent. No, it's not. On the, it's not just look like that. No, it definitely is bent. This hits down on it a few times. Same with that side. Doesn't affect the steering wheel. So that's how I uh, that's how I did the lift and uh, how I put nine inch, uh, twenty three inch tires on a nine inch room. And that, my friends, is how you put. 23 inch rims on 9 inch rims or make your own custom adapters out of the rim. It's pretty simple as long as you got the parts and uh, I mean yeah I use a welder or you know and uh, I did use, use the, uh, there wasn't much to it the hardest part was just welding it and then um, grinding them down so I also I'll show you how I did the front ones this is, uh, if you guys have tried to do this, you know that the uh, uh, rear rim, 9-inch rim, will not go on the front. You have to grind it down. So I ended up grinding, the, look, I ended up grinding, like, this entire thing on the front. And, um, kind of had to on the back, too. But still got that clearance right there. Not a lot, but there's enough. Just doing a little bit of grinding, welding, and cutting, and you can have yourself 20s in the front and 23s in the back with the adapter, custom adapters. So I, I do, would like to see what the 23s in the front look like and get 26s for the back. But before I do that, I need to get that transmission. So that one, like I said, leaks and it has a pretty good crack in it. Um, so I need to get a new transmission for it. But before we get a new transmission, we have to bl either blow that one up or get a new motor because this motor is toast. So, I don't know what we're going to do with this. I'd like to just restart, but I don't know. I haven't seen any. I'd like to literally just buy another one of these with the engine already in it, with a six speed already in it. Because if you do not, if you follow along, I've had to put a six speed in this. It was a hydro. So I'd like to find one that already has a twin with the uh, um, six speed. And then I just swap panels and swap the hoods and swap these tires onto it. And it'd be great in the lift. But I don't know. Can't find any. So. Well, that's going to be it for today's episode of Big O in Productions. Uh, if you enjoyed, leave a like. Uh, if you want to support the channel, subscribe. It is free. And if you guys have any suggestions on any of these mowers that you've seen or if a mower build I should be doing, uh, leave them in the comments. I will and subscribe and I will try to do it. Uh, I love reading you guys' comments and stuff. So uh, I got a giveaway going on right now. Go check it out. Uh, doing a whole bunch of giveaways soon. Dropping merch.